The boss of Spanish tennis has admitted that a French Open final between Rafael Nadal and Carlos Alcaraz is a real possibility after the 18-year-old won the Miami Open. Alcaraz become the second youngest Miami finalist ever, behind Nadal, by reaching the championship match. He then became the youngest man ever to win the title when he defeated Kasparud 7-5-6-4. Alcaraz has long been heralded as one of the most exciting young prospects in tennis but proved he was a real threat to the current generation of top players too by winning his maiden Masters 1000 title at the Miami Open on Sunday. During his run at the Hard Rock Stadium, the Spaniard became the youngest player ever to reach back-to-back -back semi-finals at Indian Wells and Miami the second youngest finalist behind Nadal in 2005 and the youngest man to lift the title. Having targeted a spot in the world's top 15 as his goal for the end of the season, the 18-year-old has already more than exceeded his expectations four months into the year, reaching a career high of number 11 in the world off the back of his victory. And with what his coach claims is his best part of the season set to begin, the president of the Royal Spanish Tennis Federation is hoping the two Spaniards will get to do battle on one of the sport's biggest stages. Of course. Nadal is the king of clay. To win the Grand Slam there is something that Carlos could also do, Miguel Diaz Roman told Eurosport Spain, speaking about the upcoming French Open. Imagine a final between Nadal and Alcaraz. It would be watched around the world and the intensity would be a huge thing for Spanish tennis and sport in general. And the Spanish tennis chief thought there was a good chance it could happen as soon as this year, with the French Open the next Grand Slam of the season. And it is a real possibility, he added. Today the rankings of the year came out and first is Rafael Nadal and second is Carlos Alcaraz. Roberto Bautista Agut is also there, so we have three Spaniards in the top ten. Nadal is currently in the lead of the race to the year-end finals with Alcaraz following closely behind, as the two most successful players of 2022 so far. Alcaraz has previously been compared to Nadal by everyone including the man himself and the pair have done battle twice before, with their last match serving as the Miami Open champion's most recent loss. The world number four has come out on top in their recent Indian Wells semi-final and in their Madrid Masters clash last year, played on Alcaraz's 18th birthday. Alcaraz himself is also gunning for the chance to face Nadal during the upcoming clay court swing and admitted he thought he had the ability to win a Grand Slam as early as this year. To be the best you have to beat the best, so to be the best I have to beat Raffin on clay, he said after winning the Miami Open and asked whether he thought he could go on to win a major title after securing titles at all ATP levels, 250, 500 and 1000. He added, I would tell you that I am prepared, I am confident, I am also physically and mentally. Maybe it's not Roland Garros, but I can win a Grand Slam this year. And I'm not afraid to say it.